This video is sponsored by your mom. Not really, but it does have a sponsor and that is evokestudio.io. Palm Bay is one of the coolest places to hold the Redcon 1 Patriot Games. It's a great variety and the obstacle course is pretty legit. And the $1 million live fire shoot house is always a fan favorite. Anthony got this thing rolling with the Tower of Sauron. So let me hit you right off the bat with a 45 second sizzle reel. Put the needle on the record. Traveling and preparing for an event like this can sometimes feel overwhelming, but when everybody starts showing up and I start to see those familiar faces, it's like a hot cup of coffee in the morning. And who doesn't like a cup of coffee in the morning? This event was unique to the Patriot Games because it was specifically designed for two-person teams. It was really awesome to see friends team up, husband and wives, and also some competitors may have um, partnered up with who they competed with at the last games. Anthony had them shooting from every platform in the tower while carrying up kettlebells to make sure that nobody skipped leg day. They worked their way all the way up to the tower doing miscellaneous crazy shit all the way up and at the top they shot out to 300 yards. They had to hit the targets individually before their other partner could shoot. It was really fun seeing each team come through and work through their specific challenges. I really love Palm Bay for uh, a lot of reasons, but the shoot house there is really a unique opportunity and it looked like everybody had a lot of fun. As always, everyone stayed safe and this time they got to save a dummy's life in the process. Good training. We may have to save a lot of dummies in the next 10 to 20 years. The third segment of the day uh, was really interesting. Three, two, one, go. the teams had to do things together as well as separate. And if one of the teammates got stuck only when their teammate was able to hit the final target to release them so they could move forward and do what they needed to do to get through the challenge. So a really fun balance between needing each other in real time together to carry heavy things and then also relying on each other when separated to do their task. Some of the challenges look really frustrating and hard and I really like watching the athletes go through their normal um, what they're used to as far as um, competing and getting through a frustrating task and, and really rely on their training and work their equipment, but also for fighting in their minds, knowing that in the background, their teammate was relying on them so that that's additional pressure. And it was really a nice added bonus, um, at least for a spectator. And I'm sure that the competitors had a lot of fun with it too. Uh, recommendations from the photographer watching several athletes come through um, one particular section of the challenge. Uh, only load 29 rounds in your 30 round mags. A lot of you athletes uh, lost time due to dicking around with the mag that would not seat properly um, on a closed bolt. All right, you rolling, sir? Yep. 
lift back. You filled that mag up for me, didn't you? Yep. A lot of people in the last Patriot Games, they fucking didn't do 29 mags, rounds. They did 30 rounds. They were fucking hating life. <laughs> there you go. Here we go. We're having fun. And of course, you will see the quintessential dogs that everybody has come to love throughout this video. As a special aside, I was deeply moved several times as I watched friends, loved ones, and teammates support Sarah. Sarah, who is an amazing athlete and does a lot of work with Rescue 22 Foundation as well. Yeah, she's an awesome athlete, a warrior, and uh, it was really nice to get to know her just a little bit better. All right, bring on day two, section one. All right, starting off with day two. On this first segment, he used damn near the entire Palm Bay uh, police uh, gun range. And, um, you know, starting off sprinting, carrying things, jumping over walls, over fences, through the tube, carrying the heavy things again with your partner, um, all kinds of radical stuff. And then moving on to a firing line with pretty uh, intense kind of brain game type of firing um, solutions needed with both pistol and rifle. Carrying heavy things again over to yet another section to where you're manipulating both your rifle and your pistol and shooting very specific targets in a very specific sequence or pattern between the two um, teammates. So pretty, pretty dope. And of course they wrapped it up um, by one of them having to drag their partner to safety after saving their leg and their life. For all your video and photography needs, definitely reach out to evokestudio.io. That's evokestudio.io. Stop by the website, check out our work, and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Some of these sections were totally a grind. By the end of this multi-section challenge, um, these guys were just exhausted, you guys and gals. Um, I saw quite a few husband and wives, girlfriend, boyfriends working together, and it was really cool to see everybody kind of be at their limit uh, and still functioning and doing quite well. So pretty awesome to see. Very inspiring. Good job, you kick-ass competitors. No, really. You guys are awesome. And wrapping up with the first sections of the day, moving on to segment two of day two, and this will be the final event. This last section got super rainy. Um, took us a minute to get our gear over there and fortified to try to minimize the amount of water got on our camera equipment. Um, while I'm on this note, thank you Lens Rental for letting me use your equipment in the rain. I mean, what's $2,000 between friends? Am I right, guys? I will leave you some delightful music to listen to while you watch these savages destroy this course. Know the way 
weather will get colder That it can't always be spring And when I pushed you in a straw You were looking up Singing life like a church hymn You are gonna find your place, child Of that much I know I'm sure Keep on laughing at the rain, I guess Isn't that the place to start? Someday you will be stronger than you are now But you will not know everything When the water's spilling over the bow You'll still let me in the way You gotta get up to get down, kid You gotta get down to get up again You gotta get up to get down, kid You gotta get down to get up again How would you like to be the bad guy in this situation with this freaking werewolf coming for you? That's a hard pass for me. Yeah, I check no on that box. Between the incredible diversity offered by Palm Bay over here in Florida and Anthony's sadistic programming, it was an awesome event. I really encourage everyone to get involved. It's super fun. Spectating is free. Judges and referees are always welcome. Um, and competitors, well, we love when you pay money to get abused. Sick fucks. Jessica and I do all the production. For <laughs> Jessica and I do all the production for the Patriot Games, and we love our jobs. So when you come out, be sure and tap us on the shoulder and introduce yourself. We love to watch our family grow. My name is Mike. You're at the Gun Channel. We'll see you soon, and let's all pray for pistol braces. That is all. Cookie? That cookie.